Audio system with navigation, if so equipped. The audio system with navigation includes an FM-AM radio, a CD player, and XM satellite radio, if so equipped. This is the control panel. Audio functions will appear on the display monitor. Press the volume on-off control knob to turn your system on or off. Turn the dial left or right to adjust the volume. Your radio will play FM and AM stations and, if so equipped, will tune in XM satellite radio. Press the FM AM button to change between AM, FM1 and FM2. Pressing the XM button will allow you to choose XM1, XM2 or XM3. For full details on XM satellite radio, you can refer to your owner's manual or go to www.seriousxm.com. To tune and stop at the next or previous broadcast station, while the AM or FM band is selected, press either end of the Seek Category button. If playing a CD, press the right Seek Category arrow to advance to the next track. Press the left arrow and the current track will restart. Press the left arrow at the beginning of the current track and the previous track will play. Press either arrow several times to skip through multiple tracks. To fast forward or rewind the CD, press and hold either end of the Seek Category button. The left arrow will rewind and the right arrow will fast forward. When the button is released, it will resume normal play. The Tune Scroll Audio Control knob manually tunes the radio. To move up or down through the stations, turn the knob. Press the Tune Scroll audio knob to adjust bass, treble, balance, fade, or speed sensitive volume, SSV, if so equipped. To adjust any of these features, select the corresponding adjustment key or turn the Tune Scroll audio knob left or right to the feature you wish to adjust. Press the knob, then turn the knob right or left to adjust the setting. Press the knob again to set. You can also adjust these audio features by pressing the Setup button on the control panel and selecting Audio. You can use speed-sensitive volume to make the audio louder at faster vehicle speeds and quieter at slower speeds. Once adjustments have been made, press the Back button or any other button to exit and return to Radio, CD mode, Auxiliary, USB iPod or Navigation. You can set up to 6 AM and 12 FM stations and, if so equipped, 18 satellite radio stations in memory. First, choose a radio band by pressing the FM, AM or XM buttons. After selecting a radio band, AM, FM1, FM2, XM1, XM2 or XM3, tune to the desired station. Now, press and hold the desired station button, 1 through 6, until a beep sounds, indicating the station is set in memory. To play a stored station, select the radio band where it was stored, then press the corresponding button 1 through 6. The radio can also be tuned using your navigation screen. In AM or FM mode, select the Tune key and this screen will appear. Next, select the desired station. To return to the previous radio display, select OK. While playing the radio, to change to CD mode, press the CD button. In CD mode, these keys will appear on the screen. The random or repeat key changes the play pattern while listening to a CD. The browse key displays the song titles or track numbers on the CD in list format. Select a song's title or track number to begin playing that song. If playing an MP3 CD, selecting the browse key will also list the folders on the disc. Press the Eject button to eject the currently loaded disk. The auxiliary input jack accepts any standard analog input device, such as a cassette tape player, CD player, MP3 player, or laptop computer. After plugging in a device, press the auxiliary button to begin play. This is your vehicle's USB jack. Plug a compatible storage device, such as an iPod, into the jack to play audio files stored on the device. If compatible, the battery of your iPod will charge while connected to the vehicle. 
When plugged into the jack, only the audio system controls can be used to navigate and operate all iPod functions. The interface for iPod operation shown on the display is similar to the iPod interface. Videos from an iPod device cannot be played back through the vehicle's audio system while connected through the USB port. Press the auxiliary button to switch to the USB mode. Please refer to your owner's manual for further information and instructions regarding all audio systems.